Hi friends, welcome again. Thanks for watching part one of DNS server configuration on Red Hat or CentOS 7. So let's begin with part two. I am already logged on to my master DNS server and uh, we will begin uh, with the DNS server configuration. So this is the file, this is bind configuration or you can say main DNS configuration file. So in this file, we are going to add uh, our zone information when I say zone that is basically domain name and uh, we will specify what will be our forward and reverse lookup files so let's modify this file I will use Vim that will be easy and colorful thing and uh, so that you can easily identify the differences or changes which I am going to make okay I am jumping to bottom here I am going to add I have a uh, baked couple of entries uh, and uh, so I will not take much time to add the entries okay so here I have added these entries if you see a uh, zone that's a zone name open sky dot home type master file which is forward dot open sky that is forward lookup file and uh, if you see I have added a reverse entry and uh, this is reverse lookup file okay so I have just saved uh, this configuration file now we will configure forward and reverse lookup files and uh, forward and reverse lookup file they will be created in uh, where named why uh, let me show you uh, I'm just uh, doing cat on this file grab where if you see this is a directory all the configuration for DNS server this particular directory got all the it is the placeholder for for all the DNS configuration so files need to be created in this directory so let's create our forward look of file I'm just doing vi in this particular directory with the file name forward dot open sky which we just mentioned in uh, etc name dot com enter escape i and uh, here I'm going to add uh, these entries I have already prepared the entries which need to be added escape i okay let me explain you a little bit about these entries this is time to live this is a uh, SOA and uh, this is master.opensky.home and this is root we have to specify root this is the couple of tunings and settings if you see uh, here I have ent added entry a a mean a record which is 90.10.10.20 this DNS server and I am adding another a record which is uh, for 90.10.10.50 which is our uh, which is for our CentOS client so I'm uh, specifying entry master this particular DNS DNS entry got this IP 90.10.10.20 and this particular entry CentOS client this got uh, IP of 90.10.10.50 so this looks fine to me let's save this file WQ enter so in similar way we will create a reverse lookup file it will be almost same but a couple of differences escape I am adding the data so let me copy paste the data which I just prepared escape I enter okay so here this is a reverse lookup file reverse mean it will uh, uh, do resolution from IP to name forward mean from name to IP reverse mean IP to name so here similar entries if you pay attention uh, here ns mean name server this is pointer and uh, here I am adding entries so master 90.10.10.20 centos 90.10.10.50 if you see here uh, this I have added 20 20 mean the the must this IP is ending with dot 20 so I have added only 20 this IP is uh, client IP is ending with 50 so I have added dot 50 uh, only 50 and PTR mean it is pointer master.opensky.home and 50 is for CentOS client.opensky.home 
So I have added entry, they look good to me. I'm just saving this file and exiting. Let's do ls on uh, where name directory. So files are created. And if you see, this is the reverse file. It is owned by a root and root. And this is forward file, which is owned by a root and root. Uh, group is also root. But if you see other files, they got owned by a root and uh, named. So we have to uh, correct the ownerships and uh, permissions on these files and we will do it in uh, next step okay so first we will change ownership of i am changing recurs recursively i am changing group of uh, where named to named okay that's done and uh, here i am changing uh, root uh, changing the ownership to root and named for etc name.com by default it, it got uh, root and root so let's do it okay so it's done then uh, i'm using uh, sc linux as disabled but in case you got it in permissive mode then uh, you can always run restore cone command to your var name directory minus r v mean uh, r mean uh, it is recursive and v mean it will uh, verbose verb it will tell us uh, what the changes it is making and uh, similar thing i will do on etc name.com which is uh, main uh, bind configuration file so that's done as next step we will perform syntax check validation so for syn syntax check validation i will be using command uh, named dash check con let's see which package is delivering this command so to check that i will use rpm minus qf which is normal rpm command if you see it is delivered by bind by 9.9 .9. okay let's perform uh, syntax check validation so this is a way to perform sy syntax check validation if you see uh, the command minus z z mean uh, the zone file uh, so it's named dot conf okay it not gave any error everything came smooth so it mean uh, configuration is perfect okay so let's start next step next step will be start the bind services which mean uh, configuration is done so now we can start our dns server so if you see we have already started our bind service couple of minutes back let's verify status again i'm just clearing my screen system ctl status named dot service it's already running so i have to restart this service uh, simply i can use a uh, stop start or i can use restart but i will always prefer to use stop start instead of uh, using restart direct why because of it stop uh, let service stop properly and uh, let's start it again restart do the same function but not sure I have uh, I don't have any explanation why I use uh, stop start always okay let's stop the service stop then start the service start if the service starts clean it means configuration is okay if it gives any error so it mean um, we have uh, missed something or uh, something is wrong in our configuration should shouldn't be the case I believe it should start properly finger crossed let's press enter okay it's started let's check the status with status command okay it's active running wow so it's running now as next step we have to validate uh, our dns server okay one uh, uh, congrats our dns server is configured so now time to check the dns configuration i'm just clearing the screen again so first thing we can do ns lookup Okay, let's check what is the DNS configuration on this server. Because this server can also act as DNS client. This is the DNS client configuration file. It got uh, name server 8.8.8, .8 which is a uh, default Google DNS uh, server. I will modify this result.com file so we can point it to our newly configured DNS server. VI, I'm just editing this file okay here search will be opensky.home which is our domain name escape a 
name server i am just getting rid of uh, google dns we got our own dns now escape a 90 so here i will put our dns server ip okay so let's see the content of this file now so i have modified it search our domain name server ip address of this server so let's do ns lookup on uh, let's say we will do ns lookup on master enter oh cool if you see um, it gave information master.opensky.com which is fqdn name it got ip address of 90 10 10 20 okay so this is forward lookup let's do reverse lookup ns lookup then ip so it mean uh, we are just uh, checking whether ip can be resolved to host name enter oh cool so it is giving all information it mean uh, it is working let's check client also ns lookup sent os client okay it got uh, it gave us information 9010.10.50 is ip address for the centos client let's do reverse lookup for this ip enter okay it worked so we have tested this configuration on uh, dns server itself so i will always uh, prefer to check the configuration from client also on, at same time why because uh, if you remember as a third step we have a uh, third or fourth step we have added uh, that dns server should accept uh, request from other ips also so where we have uh, modified it from local to any so i'm just going to open a session to send to us client i have just uh, created a another server ssh 90 10 10 50 Okay, I'm just entering root password of uh, my client. Okay, I'm logged into client. Let's check uh, what the DNS configuration says on this server client configuration. It is empty, nothing. So I believe NS lookup should not work on this one. Uh, 90.10.10.50. Let's uh, NS lookup its own IP. It is hanging. It means. Uh, dns client configuration is not working i'm just pressing ctrl c okay so let's update uh, the client configuration file dns client configuration file here vi this one escape i and uh, here same information uh, will be entered search name and name server escape i okay so search will be open sky.com which is our domain name and uh, name server i'm just pointing it to 90 10 10 20 wq if you see this is sent to us client this is not our dns server this is dns client now do ns lookup ns lookup oh cool uh, see it uh, just resolved uh, its name from this ip and this is the server it used 90 10 10 20 which is our dns server let's do reverse lookup now and sorry i will call it forward lookup uh, from host to ip okay so this is the NS look up this particular IP yeah cool it resolved from this particular name DNS name to this IP so or the other way like uh, instead of using NS lookup command you can simply use a uh, dig command so uh, dig command uh, do same function uh, and I will prefer to uh, check it with dig so dig at 90 10 10 20 here I'm telling uh, dig this particular open sky dot home from this dns server this is dns server enter okay so if you see it gave information open sky.com it got master open sky.com root open sky.com so that's a different name uh, it can be resolved so it means our dns configuration is working and we have tested it on client also so that's it uh, about this tutorial if you have any question uh, or any feedback you can always uh, share your feedback of use or if you see anything is not working in your lab setup you can always reach to me you can just uh, leave a note i will try to help you wherever it is possible and uh, guys uh, the whole path one and path two i have uh, prepared a word document explaining uh, 
everything like whatever I have discussed uh, in whole section I prepared a document if you need that document uh, let me know uh, just po put a comment like with your email ID that you need that document and uh, whenever I check your update I can easily share that document with you